Okay, focus on your breath. You might say there are lots of other things in the world that need attention right now. But the primary thing for each of us is to attend our own minds. Make sure our minds are in good shape, because as we engage in the world, we're not going to be adding more danger to the world, not be adding more of a mess to the world. Because it's our actions that shape the world. And where do actions come from? They come from inside. Other people's actions come from their minds. And try as we may to have a good influence on them, it doesn't always work. But we can influence our own minds, so focus there first. Get your own mind in shape. And then from there, if you come out in the world and see there's something you can do, something you can help with, okay, you're coming from a much better place. All too often people who meditate are accused of being irresponsible in face of all the troubles of the world. Well, the world's going to have troubles on and on and on. There's no end to that. But you can put an end to your own contribution to the troubles, making the troubles worse. Instead, you can change the situation so you're coming from a good place inside and gaining your strength from inside. All too often people will justify unskillful behavior by saying, well, somebody else said un something unskillful or did something unskillful. But that's no excuse. You don't want your actions to be coming from their actions. You want your actions to be coming from your own well-considered actions inside, your own well-considered intentions inside. So when we read the news about horrible things that have happened, we want to read coming from a good place inside so we can respond in a more helpful way, in a more skillful way. Because it's not just the big events in the, in the news. It's everyday events all around us, dealing with people all around us. It's all too easy. Someone says something nasty or looks at you in a bad way. And immediately that becomes justification for going back with the same sort of thing. What you've done is you've taken their karma, and now you've made it your karma. And what kind of karma is it? If you're going to take somebody else's karma, take the good stuff. What's even better, though, is to learn how to generate your own good karma inside. And to nourish yourself with that. You want to be a self-starter in this way. In this case, you're being as responsible as possible. It's your gift to the world. The fact that you're straightening out your own mind. <laughs>